I was a simple young journalist back then, speaking at an international conference on the beautiful idea that is communism. I often wonder if people... A folder with my speech for today. A gramophone record. I've prepared a few slides for my present... The inside of my suitcase. And a uh, good day to you too, sir. Uh, while I appreciate your diligence, I am one of the speakers. I I'm afraid I'm tardy, but I really must get inside. Uh, my speech is a glorious message that will enlighten and empower the good folks here. Mr. Tardy, eh? I find it strange that you're afraid of your own name, but let me check the list. Uh, no, no, I I'm tardy, uh, not I'm tardy. I I'm Kowalski, Evan Kowalski, and I'm tardy. I'm sorry, I, I don't have a Mr. Kowalski or a Mr. Tardy on the list of speakers. My speech fits the theme of the conference perfectly, since it's about communism and... Wait, what? I, I must be on that list. Uh, besides, I, I received an invitation from you. Please, show it to me and we can clear all of this up. Hmm. That is indeed an invitation from us. I told you. Please accept my apologies. I was not informed there was a schedule change. Uh, I think I can squeeze you in during the coffee break. Please proceed to the stage. Thank you. Oh, and don't worry. While you're walking across the stage, our producer will definitely be playing commercials. Five, 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 four, three. Five, seven. Hello? Hey, Mom. Oh, Evan, Dad and I are just watching your conference. Huh. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. What is it, Evan? Mom, the stress is getting to me, and I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Evan, we went over this so many times. You're supposed to show them slides of Matryoshka. Play the national anthem from the gramophone record, and then... Read the speech you worked so hard on. Oh, right. Thanks. Uh, never mind. I'm headed back in. is live. Please stop interrupting. Sir, we're broadcasting live. Please Information on who speaks when and about what. Please stop interrupting. My name is Sean Redkick, and I represent the people of New Pork, 
blood-red socialism is pouring in across the borders of our world. We can't just stand idly by and watch as the enemies of freedom undo what our fathers fought for. We're not gonna watch men die face down in the muck in this bloody war on the peninsula so that the red invasion can secretly pour into our country. Communist evil. Uh, communist evil. Thanks. Yes, you see, communist evil is justified because, uh, I meant to say, there is no justification for its existence. What a slip of the tongue that was. As we all know, enemy intelligence agents have infiltrated our country. They could even be here right now in our midst. Like, for example, right there. Or over there. Maybe you're one. Or your lovely wife there. Yeah. She could definitely be one. She's got that commie look, all right. Or you, you, or you, yes, you, are a communist spy. A sleeper agent working in the shadows. And such agents, uh... They need our support. Yes, they need our support. Let's organize a fundraiser. Ooh, ooh, oh. Uh. We could have a bake sale. Uh, no, what am I saying? Spies are evil. Agents are evil. Evil is evil. I urge you all to stay vigilant. And even the smallest symptom, the barest hint of communist activity, should be reported to the authorities immediately. In closing, I would like to... You wanted to admit you're a socialist. In closing... I would like to warn against the socialists among us. Not naming any names, just watch out for them. Socialists are bad. Speaking of which, as I've just been informed by our producer, instead of our planned break, we will have an unplanned guest. It just so happens I have already had the displeasure of being smeared in his rag of a newspaper. I'm sure you'll all love him. Ladies and gentlemen, Evan Kowalski. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. I can't jam the slides into the holder since it's inside the projector. Rats! The slides aren't working. And what... I read a great book on presentations that said one should look at one's notes before beginning a speech. <laughs> Genius. No wonder it was a bestseller. Empty frame. Empty frame.
Dang. Hurry up! You know, I am prepared to give a slide presentation, and at the risk of you calling me Mr. Prepared, <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that there's no canvas on the projector screen. Mr. Kowalski, please understand you weren't on the list, so we didn't receive any instructions regarding your needs. Fortunately, we are professionals, so I have some canvas right here. There will be a break soon, and someone will install it. No, no. Uh, no need for a break. I'll put it up myself in no time. The working class of the cities and farms isn't afraid of a little hard work. As you wish. Here you go. The projector canvas. I apologize for my ignorance, but I received the invitation only an hour ago. Hmm. That's strange. I, I wrote my speech in a taxi on the way over. So, uh, I'm curious. Is this being broadcast to the entire world? Well, Mr. Curious. You know, that joke wasn't all that funny the first time. We have the large... Do you think they're watching us in Matryoshka? I doubt the authorities there allow their people to watch Western television. Or any, for that matter. What are you talking about? You should get back to the stage. Okay. And the screen's too high up. I can't reach it. I read a great book on presentation. Oh man, I got the slides for my presentation all mixed up. I need to fix this quick. Five, 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 four. The number you have dialed. Five, 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 four, three, five, seven. Hello? Hey, Mom. What is it, Evan? Mom, the stress is getting to me, and I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Evan. We went over this so many times. You're supposed to show them slides of Matryoshka. Play the national anthem from the gramophone record. And then read the speech you worked so hard on. Oh, right. Thanks. Uh... The slides aren't working. Oh man, I got 
the slides for my prep. Rats! The slides aren't working. for my presentation all mixed up. I need to fix this quick. The slides aren't working. No! I still need to play the matriarch. I can't take it off while it... Damn, my whole speech is out of order. I did it! And my teacher said I had cognitive issues. I still need to play the Matryoshka now. I put my notes. Uh, uh, just a moment. Where did I put my notes? Uh, good morning, comrades, those in the studio and those watching at home. If you're thinking, where have I seen this dapper gentleman before, then perhaps you were in Booniesville several days ago at the HASP Manufacturers Conference, where I spoke about the responsibility of the working class in building a single-class society. A little about me. My name is Evan Kowalski, and I am the editor-in-chief of the Daily Worker Monthly. Uh, by the way, I highly recommend buying a subscription. I have come here today quite 
unexpectedly, with a very important, exciting ideological message. Cal Communism is good. In fact, communism is the best. Boo! Boo! There's no room in our country for communism. Shut your commie mouth, Evan. Get lost! <laughs> now, gentlemen, there's no need to get angry. Are you telling our viewers that poor people shouldn't have more money? Do you hate the poor? Are you against the idea that every human being is equally important and entitled to a fair chance? Are we not all humanitarians? I won't be part of this farce. And there, you see? He runs away using his costly running shoes. Do the poor not deserve to run? I wonder if one of my other colleagues will engage me in a debate. I'm interested to see how they will claim that education, culture, and industry is not in our common national good, and how every citizen should not have the same equal rights to reap their benefits? Enough! Ha! See? That's what I thought. No one's brave enough for such a challenging discussion. Okay, then. Let's move on to the powerful beacon that is... Beautiful Matryoshka. Located just behind the Iron Curtain, between the Capitalist Union and the Socialist Alliance... Boo! Get off the stage! Uh, Matryoshka serves as a shining example of communism done right. Get off the stage, Kami! Boo! All glory and honor belongs to the leader, who infallibly and confidently leads his nation towards a bright future. Get out of here before I burn the building down! I'm picking up on a little tension in the room, so, uh, how about a joke? Uh, uh what would we have in the States if we didn't have capitalism? Everything! <laughs> I'm at the meeting of the party. Make it quick. Glory to Matryoshka, comrade leader. Ah, Major Orlova. How's your uh, vacation at Uncle Sam? More fruitful than ever. Please turn on the capitalist channel, Comrade Leader. What the hell? Comrade Leader. <sighs> I see you found me a very interesting souvenir. Bring him to me at once. Yes, Comrade Leader. For the glory of Matryoshka. <laughs> In the leader's heart. Uh, in conclusion to this undoubtedly illuminating speech, I will tell you, comrades, my greatest wish, that one day our nations will join together and goose step, I, I mean, uh, march uh, together in the one true direction towards a stronger state, join together with Matryoshka. I thank you, comrades, for your attention, and I wish you a good day. Wonderful presentation. The Matryoshkin authorities are impressed with your work. As am I. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, thank you, Miss, uh... I'm Anna. Anna Igloff. Someone will contact you once you get home. In case of any emergency, this envelope will help you contact me. We'll meet again soon, Comrade Haven. Anna, authorities, envelope... Wait, what? I'll do that at home. Right now, I want to get out of here. Oh, 
Oh, you're back. How did it go? It went great. Well, up until I started. Then everyone just laughed. As usual. Oh, uh, by the way, some tomatoes should be arriving soon. So, that's something. Oh, uh, you had a call from Matryoshka. Your mother memorized the number. They said you should call them back. Oh, one more thing. You remember that record, the Sandwich March? Yeah? What about it? I've decided that since I'm a man now, I'm too old for that kind of music. I gave it to the cab driver as a tip. You... You... That was a rare limited edition pressing. It was worth hundreds of dollars. Oh. I see. Huh. Really? Well, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. And this man just lost hundreds of dollars. <laughs> well, I suppose just don't worry about it. And chin up. You were great on TV. Mom adds new flowers to the tablecloth every year. It's amazing that you can simply dial a number and find out the time, the season, solutions to problems, <laughs> you name it. My parents are still afraid a war will break out, but I can't... A telephone switchboard. We're a modern family, after all, and my parents have to make a lot of overseas calls for their jobs. How was the conference? A nice girl came to hear me speak, and she said she loved it. It turned out she was from Matryoshka, and she said they'd heard about me there. Do you understand? About me! I also got an envelope from her that was sealed with Matryoshka's coat of arms. Hmm, that must be a very important envelope. Well, it sounds like you had quite the day. A speech and a new friend. Uh, Dad said someone called for me. Oh, yes. They were calling from Matryoshka and said you can call them back at 007-1234. Oh, and give them the password, Zagrislav. Thanks, Mom. Uh, can I turn off the washing machine yet? Oh, no, not yet. I'll let you know when it's done. I need to take care of a few things. Zero, zero, seven, one, two, three, four. Quiet. Huh, no signal. Dad, when I dial the number to Matryoshka, nothing happens. The phone's dead and there's no signal. Go check if the international switchboard in the basement is malfunctioning.
So the raccoon jumped on the switchboard and messed up the cables, but... Zero, zero, seven, one, two, three, four. Hello? This is Evan. Password. Zergislav. That is not correct password, comrade. Goodbye. Zero, zero, seven, one, two, three, four. Hello? This is Evan. Password. Zegrizislav. Yes, correct. That is the current password. If we want to continue this conversation, you need to place near the phone, since this is an official conversation, a photo of the leader. Uh, okay, uh, give me just a second. Oh, let's see what she wrote here. Comrade Evan, stay vigilant. We believe someone might have seen us together. If you get caught, please deny everything. I await your signal, Anna Eagloff. I'm ironing your shirt, Evan. How was your day, Mom? Why, it was wonderful, of course. I did the laundry, made dinner, washed the windows, vacuumed the house, added a new flower to the tablecloth, proofread your upcoming issue, then I went to the hair salon, and now I'm ironing your clothes for next week. Maybe I'll even go hunting with your father this afternoon. If you get hungry, there's turkey in the fridge. You can heat it up. Just be careful not to burn yourself like last time. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You're the best. I know, honey. All right. I'll... I have a beautiful view of the street from my window. This is where... Strange. I don't remember this being locked. My mom is... I heard you on the phone. Anything interesting for Matryoshka? I'll tell you later. They're still on the line. I need to put the leader's photo by the phone. What? All right, go. Mom adds new flowers to the tablecloth every year. M Mom adds new flowers to... Mom adds new flowers... A gas stove. I just got... It's too bad my parents never took photos of me when I was really little. A list of faith... I've grown very... I keep my... Mo 
We've been waiting. I'm back, and I have the picture, sir. I mean, officer, sir. Comrade? Uh, right. Officer, sir, uh, comrade. Of course. Okay, let's not drag this out. This is not a cheap call. The leader has heard about your presentation and invites you to travel to Matryoshka in express time. Do you accept, comrade? Our attaché will contact you immediately regarding this matter. Do you accept our invitation, comrade? Oh, oh my. I am... Hello? Dad, the phone's dead again. Go down to the basement and give that damn switchboard a kick. Hello? <laughs> oh no. Someone's completely wrecked the international switchboard. Dad will not be pleased. Oh no. Mrs. Kowalski. Yes? FIA. FIA? The French Intelligence Agency. Oh, I see. No, ma'am. The Overseeing Infiltration Center does not handle the kind of situation we have here. What situation? That's exactly why we are here. There has been unauthorized communication with Matryoshka coming from this neighborhood. We are performing a thorough decommunization of every house in this area, starting with this one. And how long will that take? A couple of days. Days? And where are we... I mean, and what are... And what are we supposed to do in the meantime? Don't worry, Mr. Kowalski. We have prepared temporary accommodations for you. Your relocation will begin shortly. Darn it! Oh well. We better start packing. Evan, these gentlemen are trying to convince me that you were contacted by a spy from Matryoshka and that you were given something. I already explained to them that nothing like that could have taken place because you're too good of a boy, right? You didn't take anything from anyone. Uh, of course I didn't. She didn't give me anything. No envelopes. Of course not. You'd never take things from strangers. Still, the gentlemen want to have a look around the house. I'd best leave them be so I don't draw attention to myself. The timer will let me know when the food's ready. Take no- It'll be ready to eat in a minute. Mom adds new flour. I'd... Just my luck. Just when things start to go my way and I have a chance. Instead of packing my things and going away with Anna, I'll be arrested for being a spy. I need to contact Anna immediately. See what she wrote here. Comrade Evan, stay vigilant. We believe someone might. If you get caught, please deny everything. I await Anna. My dad keeps his tools and. I'm. I'm not allowed to look in there. This is practically a delicacy to my family. I, I'd best leave them be so I don't...
I have a beautiful view of the street from some These men have several questions for me, and it looks like we'll need to spend the night in jail. We'll talk later, okay? Okay, Mom, but we can't let them treat us like that. We've done nothing wrong. Psst. Is this my fault? Is it because of my newspaper? Or, <gasps> oh no, is this because of the Sandwich March record? What? Of course not. Don't be silly. I think they found out about your invitation to Matryoshka. Oh no! Now what? I don't think you can go. I think they'll ship us out to some facility where they can keep an eye on us. But I want to go. You know this could be a big opportunity for me. I can only imagine. After a trip like this, every journalist out there would know about you. Exactly. I've dreamt of going to Matryoshka all my life. The Iron Curtain has always been an impenetrable barrier to the Western world, but they've invited me themselves. I've got the golden ticket. I understand your disappointment. Sometimes, when fate smiles on us, we just need to take matters into our own hands. Thanks for understanding, Dad. I hope you won't be mad at me for whatever I decide to do. It's your life, Evan. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. If you want to represent an alternate viewpoint in our country like you're doing, uh... <laughs> Zero, four, zero, two, eight, one. The metal floral designs look like the stem of an exotic flower. Mom adds new... There we go. Now it looks like... I have a beautiful view. Huh. Nothing happened. I was supposed to place the flower on the right side. Right? What's going on up there? Everything's fine, Mom! Are you sure? I was just... cleaning my room! Yeah, sure. By the way, the laundry should be done by now. Thanks, Mom!
Found my red socks. I should keep my pass. Yes, yes, just be careful, Evan. I'm really going, Mom. After all this time, I'll finally see Matryoshka. Well, I hope you finished your turkey before you... Wait, what? You're going where? To Matryoshka. My friend is helping me get there. Don't worry about a thing. Please, son, be careful. Don't worry, Mom. I'll be fine. Bye. Dad, everything's arranged. I'm going to Matryoshka. I knew you'd think of something. We're proud of you. Goodbye, son. Be brave. Bye. Anna? Is that you? Yes, me. Anna. Give me your suitcase, comrade Ivan. You know, now that we're here and everything, maybe I should just, you know, stay with my parents. Kind of wake the whole thing out? A uh, trip to Matryoshka has always been my dream, and I'm flattered that you thought of me for this important work, but, uh... The leader's life is in danger! What?! Yes, comrade. Someone is conspiring against the light of our dawns. I don't know how deep the conspiracy runs, so I can only trust a handful of my closest colleagues. That's terrible! Who would want to hurt the most just person alive? We will find out. Comrade Evan, are you ready to travel to Matryoshka and stop the conspirators' network? Save the life of our most dearest leader. Yes, of course. It is my duty. The leader represents everything I've believed in since I first read about communism. For the leader and Matryoshka, I will face any danger. Good. As long as that danger is relatively small and doesn't involve snakes. Or ferrets. I will inform you of your new role on the way, comrade. Give me your suitcase, comrade Ivan. So? Should we go? Are you mad, comrade? You want to go to the airport with a gun? Well, I can't just leave it out here in the open or in the tool cabinet. When the agents find it, they'll think we're terrorists. and listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. Your first mission is to find the whereabouts of my missing agent at the Leader's Heart Hotel. He disappeared, trying to learn where and when conspirators will meet. The official purpose of your visit is to prepare for an interview with the Leader and... Evan? Evan? Uh, no, Mom. I... 
Wait, uh, what? Were you sleeping? What? No, no, I was just, I mean, uh... Never mind. Focus and listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. 